where the next water is. Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm getting ready to bolt out of camp this morning. It's uh, about 65 degrees and uh, trying to take advantage of cooler weather before the sun heats things up today. So we'll get walking here and check in with you further down trail. Y'all know I love the morning sun. It's peeking out just in this one little corner right here. So you see that ray coming through? Really pretty hitting this tree, this blowdown right here. I'll take a moment to capture that one so I can remember it. Very grateful to still be rolling out here. I know it's a great opportunity and uh, one I don't take for granted for sure. So lots of things that can take people off trail and I'm just thankful that so far we haven't encountered any that have been a showstopper for us so we have to keep trudging along and really thankful to have my buddy bandit because that support is he comes in real handy out here especially times where you just don't feel like getting up and getting going or you need a hand it's uh I've found it to be definitely advantageous to for your morale and everything just to have somebody to hike with so very thankful for that it makes this journey just a little bit easier A power line cut here got just under 10 miles in for today overcast day very hot humid air sticky and uh, I'm sticky definitely looking forward to getting into Delaware water gap tomorrow so We'll be finishing up Pennsylvania. Been uh, fighting quite a few rocks today. Here you can see they got rocks pretty much sprinkled just about everywhere. There's a nice view down there. Back into the woods.
Let y'all take a look at the ground here. This is, uh, I know these don't seem terrible, but after about 15 miles of it, it's pretty rough. The biggest downside of these rocks is really, when they're like this, you can't really... I mean, you can find some flat steps, but over time, you're gonna you're gonna have to step on quite a few of them, and you're gonna step on some of them wrong, and that's where you just get this pounding on the feet over and over. You, you can see Bandit up ahead there. He's He's out there negotiating them, and to some degree, these just go on and on and on. I don't film a whole lot of it because, candidly, you gotta you gotta keep your eyes peeled, and make sure you make a good step. So it's good to have the poles on standby in case you get off balance or whatever. But We're winding down, we're, I think around mile, mile marker 1278 or so right now, so got probably roughly 20 miles left of PA, so we can start seeing the light at the end of the tunnel as far as marking off another state. I can't imagine that the rocks are going to disappear. Because we've had them pretty much in every state to some degree. But uh, we kind of knew they were coming in PA, so. Bandit says we can't complain about them too much because we knew they were coming. So once we get out of the state, we can start complaining about rocks again. Look at the skies, folks. We're in uh, Wind Gap, PA. Uh, took a little blue blaze to this uh, tavern, hiker-friendly tavern, and had lunch there. And Sorry for the road noise. We're getting ready to get a storm getting ready to roll through, but uh, the... Uh, the owner of the tavern is actually going to let us stay out on the deck after uh, the customers uh, they close down at nine o'clock and there's electrical outlets out there I mean the generosity she said they're gonna make some coffee for us in the morning Shiloh there she's just super friendly and uh, helping us out so I think it's pronounced Dietrich's, D-E-T-R-I-Z, Tavern. Um, it's in Wind Gap. And uh, we could tent up, tent, tent uh, camp behind her uh, restaurant there. They got spots there, but she's super kind. She's going to let us, because we got rain. Rain coming tonight pretty hard at 9 o'clock. But, uh... Yeah, so this will be it, and then we'll have about a 15-mile day into Delta, or Delta, Delaware Water Gap uh, tomorrow. And we'll be out of Pennsylvania at that point, so trekking on. Actually, I think I may have uh, 
butchered that name. It's Detzies, D E T Z I. So, I'm going to try to get underneath the cover here as it's just now starting to rain. So, this is the deck where we're going to be camping out. All right, we still Detzies Tavern. Had a good meal. I'm gonna have to deal with this traffic no noise tonight, but uh, I guess beggars can't be choosers. There's about a 40% chance we might get some more showers. They had a pretty good shower roll through earlier. You can see the, the puddles in the parking lot. So we're thankful we didn't uh, venture back up in the woods after our uh, trip down into uh, wind gap so they'll get here uh, early tomorrow and there's a possibility we might get a ride out of here so uh, we're excited about that possibility to get a ride back to trail which is just about a mile and a half away it's not a big deal if we have to get out and huff it but we'd rather be out on the trail covering miles if we can and we can get on into Delaware Water Gap uh, we'll be staying overnight there and picking up some new shoes on Saturday so um, but uh, yeah it's a uh, I'll, I'll get some footage of the deck in the morning the porch that we slept on uh, got some people out there eating right now so I don't, I don't really want to video them right now but uh, uh, this will be home for the night appreciate you guys uh, tuning in and subscribing and uh, It'll be the uh, probably one of the more interesting places that we've stayed. But uh, we get to get all of our uh, electronics charged and we get to uh, also cover in case, in case we get rain. And uh, then uh, it'll be nice enough to make us some coffee in the morning, which is super duper nice and get to use uh, their facility so it's very nice of them to, to allow us to do that we're very thankful so we'll see you down trail